Now, the Narendra Modi-led government's ambitious uh, Make in India campaign that was launched in September last year makes this very loud pitch to position India as a land of opportunity, which has the potential to become the next global manufacturing hub. And this campaign has seen a marketing blitzkrieg like never before, from a show-stopping exhibit at the Hanover Messe to the Make in India week held in Mumbai, it has seen a tremendous response from industry to politicians, over 5,000 people in attendance there. While it has become the government's pet slogan, predecessors to this, uh, like the NDA government's India Shining campaign, they've historically failed to make uh, the kind of impact that this one actually has done so far. So what's working for it and can it sustain the momentum? We're finding out in our top story this week. <laughs> The Make in India Week started off with much fanfare at India's commercial capital, Mumbai, last weekend. The event held on a massive scale with over 5,000 people in attendance was the first one to promote the government's ambitious initiative to make India a global manufacturing hub since its launch last year. But meanwhile, the Make in India slogan has been built up as the Indian government's biggest brand ever. We have over about a thousand international companies, right. we have about 8,000 Indian companies, we have uh, about 17 states here, uh, we have uh, uh, close to about 52 seminars, we have about 3,000 business to business, business to government meetings. There's a lot of action going on here. Our focus is largely on innovation and drive uh, design and our focus is that over a long period of time, India must develop a culture for manufacturing. People must see what India has done and what India has achieved in the world of manufacturing. A lot has been done, a lot has been achieved, but it's never talked about. So everything is on display here. You can see for yourself that India is a huge manufacturing nation. The government put all its achievements on display at the Make in India Week and so far the response from the industry has been one of extreme euphoria with some of India's biggest business groups making big plans around this. I think it's very well laid out, uh, fantastic presentations from each state, from some industry groups and uh, as usual the Prime Minister has been able to bring uh, to India uh, to share the platform of Make in India with him, several uh, delegates and very influential people from around the world. So one feels very proud as an Indian. So I think Make in India is happening as we speak and I'm sure, you know, uh, Government policies are all designed to get Make in India going as the principal driver of our economy going forward. It's a long-term strategy. It's not a strategy for one year or one and a half years or two years. So opportunities are huge, huge. And I think, you know, by consistently giving this message, having shows like this, having companies from within the country, companies from outside the country participating, this message is really going deep down into the system. Because India, manufacturing share in India GDP is extremely low. It needs a little more balance from its 12 and a half to 25 for a country our size and our size of domestic consumption. So it is also to correct this imbalance that this particular make in India has been launched. And I think it's a very good initiative. It has attracted the world's attention. But have the difficulties gone? No. But the promises that we will be interactive in solving them, so it will be easier for you to do what you want to do. And also very wonderfully pointed out that it is a great place of opportunity. Brands across the board are also hoping to leverage the Make in India promise. Look, I believe that uh, the Make in India initiative is clearly uh, India's most important uh, globally orchestrated initiative uh, to make it uh, and to get people to look at India as an attractive destination for manufacturing. Now, Nestle's participation in the Make in India exhibition has been wholehearted and this has been really for us to showcase uh, our involvement uh, over our 100 year history in India. The Make in India initiative, we believe, will go a long way in speeding up the implementation of projects. Uh, um, we, of course, have had uh, very good experience with, um, with most of the states that we operate in, in being able to set up projects and set up uh, new lines. But we believe that Make in India will make it even easier for the entire ecosystem uh, to accelerate investments 
and to speed up project implementation. Uh, we in fact continue to invest in new factories. In the last three years we've uh, set up six new factories and we have plans to invest in four more of which one we announced at Make in India uh, week just this week. Given all the buzz around the event, the host state Maharashtra has been firmly in the spotlight as well. While the high-powered excitement around the event was somewhat dampened by the stage catching fire on the second day of the event, it doesn't seem to have had an impact for the state. Today, in the Maharashtra Investment Seminar, we entered into MOUs worth 6 lakh crores of investment into diverse sectors in all the sections of Maharashtra, into Marathwala, into Vidarbha, into Northern Maharashtra, uh, in Mumbai, in Kokan as well. And uh, we are trying to translate it into real action. It will generate employment for 20 lakh youth. So I think this investment seminar has been a huge success. Tying into the central government's larger Make in India brand, even the states are building smaller brands within themselves. Take for instance the Maharashtra government's Magnetic Maharashtra campaign, an elaborately designed campaign pushed across mediums. It aims at highlighting Maharashtra as a destination for global investors. The challenge here was twofold. So when we are looking at uh, Maharashtra welcomes the Make in India week, first challenge was that we are the host state and second challenge was the fact that it's also an investment destination. So how do we create this path to India through Maharashtra? That, like the way there is the Make in India symbol, the lion symbol with the gears, uh, we wanted something that was unique to Maharashtra. Uh, we thought of the Lamandia. Lamandia is a Maharashtrian symbol. It is auspicious. It is uh, you know, uh, inaugural, it invokes, it asks people to come in, it is pious and we thought that, you know, we could use the gears of the lion and create the Lamandia out of that. So it's a mix of what was uh, created for Make in India and at the same time something which is uniquely Maharashtra. But while the slogans are catchy and the campaigns have been high decibel, there is much to be done on the ground to ensure that Magnetic Maharashtra attracts long-term investments and Make in India lives up to its promise.